Hey chaps, welcome back to another interesting video. Oh yes. I've had about 35 attempts at doing this intro because I'm, I still find talking on camera, even though I've been doing this for many years, I still find it incredibly nerve wracking and I get nervous and I repeat crap that I'm saying and I say it wrong and I say it in the wrong tone and blah 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 blah. So I still <laughs> do retake after retake after retake after retake till I get it right. Anyway, so if you can judging judging by the giant boxes here, you will the keen observer amongst you, should I say, will notice that I've acquired some brand new EJEH guards. Now they are horrendously expensive because Yes, they are. <laughs> it's just the price they are. But luckily, if you go through PayPal, you can do a pay in four, which splits the payment into four easy payments uh, where you pay a quarter of it every fortnight. So it actually makes really expensive items quite achievable. So I decided I started researching it because I just got some doors, as you well know. And I was like, oh, we're gearing up. And I thought, well, let's have a look at guards. And I got a slight, slightly concerned when most places that sell them are out of stock. And one place didn't even have them listed anymore. And I went, ooh, feels like a disturbance in the force. Um, and Rare Spares seemed to be the only place that still had stock of them. And they didn't have lots of stock on them, I've noticed. Uh, so that gave me the sort of disturbing feeling that I think these guards are going to be obsolete very soon and I don't think they're going to come back. They might, but I suspect they won't, especially with how things are going. Now, I started playing with these cars 20 years ago and... Over the years, things have been available, and door skins have been available forever. And I mean, for most of that 20 years. And then they stopped doing them after I needed them. <laughs> Typical. And then they did half skins, and then they stopped doing them. And when I started playing with them, most of the older guys were in their 50s and 60s. And now those people are in their 70s and 80s. And I'm starting to think that the demand for this stuff is going down and sort of making me a bit worried because <laughs> I did notice that Rare Spares are now selling um, EL and EF tail lights, which stunned me. And then, of course, sill panels for those particular models of Falcons as well. That suddenly made me feel very old because um, I can remember when they were brand new cars and it's been a bit of a culture shock to me and I thought I best get some of these guards while I can so I don't have another door skin incident and yes I know there are there is like one mob in Queensland who are doing door skins but they are $250 a skin and once you get four of them you're at $1,000 um, and then <laughs> If you can't fit them, you then need to pay someone to fit them. So they're actually, although doable, they're expensive. So I managed to get all four of them. I actually got six doors for similar money, uh, which don't need any skins or any rust repairs done. So I sort of... And also, I don't like putting skins on doors. No panel beaters ever enjoyed doing door skins. Um, so I figured... Get the new doors, get the new guards, and now we can actually crack on, because this is the last, these two are the last things that I need to make this car now bog and paint. So we're gonna swap the Jeep with the EJ, put that into storage. Yeah, I was getting into that, but then of course the doors turned up and it derailed my entire plan. So uh, my whole schedule went, you know, etch a sketch style and just got shaken clean. So we're starting again, but New guards, the doors are good, which means no fixing rust in these, no fixing rust in the doors. The car already has all the rust fixed because I did it ages ago, if you're watching all the videos. The car runs and drives, so all we gotta do 
Let's put them on, line them up, probably some tweaks. Some welding will probably be required, you know, door gaps and things like that. But you don't have to go too nuts. The old cars were never perfect at day one. And then we can do bog and paintwork. And then build the car. So that is an unboxing. Well, it's not really an unboxing. I just opened it and yeah, here we are. Here's the product. But all in all, aside from a little baby dent halfway along which isn't much at all there's no rust and no bog you know i don't know i'm still a bit i'm in awe at the moment because i don't i've never in my time seen one of these without rust i mean 20 years ago they you could get them with a little bit of rust at the bottom but you could never find them rust free or if you could they were i think i remember one of the old holden places I distinctly remember hearing them say back then that they sold a pair of rust-free guards for $300 and I thought that was a huge amount of money back then especially when I was buying guards for $15 but anyway that's the guards progress is happening well guards the other one's still in the box I'll get that out in a second um, but now we can crack on see you around chaps <laughs>